Hey, it's Dana. Here is a little journal slash mini album that I did with things that I had in my stash. I've decided that I really need to quit buying craft stuff, use what I have. So this was made by some envelopes. I had these sage green envelopes, been in my stash probably five or six years and they came with like some card blanks and envelopes and I never made anything with them. And then the paper pack is something I've had probably over a year. I got it from Tuesday morning. It was a die cuts with the view kind of copper and succulents pack. And then there's a tiny bit of paper that I got that had some succulents. It was like a Joann's uh, cheapy sale pack and, and I know this pink is from that. There's a few things in here but for the most part this is the die cuts with the view copper piece. So um, it's really um, a skinny little journal and uh, I'll call it journal. I don't know so much for journaling but good for quotes or photo albums and um, it's two envelopes that were put together I did put a uh, grommet here and some ribbon. I did fussy cutting and stacked the little succulents. Thought that was fun. So the ribbon ties here when you open it up. So I've got here, this is a pocket made out of some cut aparts. Had some real cute cut aparts. I made a couple of tags. This paper was from that Joann's little succulent paper pack um, as well. I used just, I think there was two sheets I really liked here. Uh, fussy cut, that succulent from the die cuts with a view, put some ribbon. I decided here to make a little ribbon tab and because this is still an active pocket. And so you could put something there, but it's these envelopes did not have a big V cut. They were very square cut, not very deep. And so I decided that that would be kind of a neat little clue that you could have something in there. This is a little flap and it's also made out of an envelope. So it has a separate tag that I put in here. Slips in that little pocket that's made from the envelope. I did put a magnetic closure here. So in the card base that I had, it had this interesting little fold that was part of that sage old card place. It had this little interesting tab that was already done. I could have made it, but it was part of the card base. So I left that there. It does have a magnet. And then here I made another little flip. And there's a magnet here as well. Thought that would be cute. So this is the base that has the, the, the band on it, but I liked how that looked together. On this page, I glued this cut apart that was in the paper pack and I made it kind of like a belly band, tucked the couple of tags that I made in here. I thought this turned out pretty cute. Then over here, I really liked this paper pack because while it had cut aparts, it had some of these cut aparts that really worked well just to do this kind of accordion fold thing. So this was all pre-done. I only decorated this front little part and it made it just kind of like a little accordion folder for journaling or for photos. And then this was a cut apart that I made a tag, fussy cut, a succulent, and then this tag I made, and then this little accordion fold guy fits in right there. So I think he turned out pretty cute, and it was fun. I did this, I started this on a Friday night after work, and I worked on it Friday night and Saturday and it's done. I finally think it's done enough. That's the nice thing about a pocket, an album like this, you can only put so much in it. Um, so, hope you enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye.